Hi, this is CJ and this is my RC hobby. In this video, I'm going to be gluing the firewall into the nose of the Avia 2.5. I finished cutting it out. As you can see, there's a bevel on the edge to match with the shape of the fuselage and I've grooved this edge using a small angled file and that's going to provide a little more purchase for the glue. It's worth doing if you're setting one of these up. Now, I want this firewall uh, to be as close to the front as possible, uh, probably within about a millimeter or so of the front. The motor has a fairly short shaft, only about 11 millimeters, and four of that is already being lost to the firewall. Another millimeter or two is going to be lost to the uh, heads and of the bolts and the washers that are going to hold the motor in. Uh, so I want to have this quite close, and it has to be in line with the fuselage so that you don't have the engine uh, pulling the aircraft into a turn or you want it in line with the incidence of the wing basically so to do that i have a bolt that is the same size as the inner hole uh, going through there this uh, piece of scrap wood will sink in over this bolt so the fiber so the firewall could uh, go flush with it in effect it's not going to but when I put that through the fuselage and then snug this down onto it, it's going to pull this, um, and it's since this is going to be flat against the fuselage, it's going to keep this in, in line with that. Uh, then this piece will go on top over that, and then this bolt will anchor it and snug it as tightly as it can, pulling it against the sides of the fuselage. So it's like clamping it in place, and not only is it going to keep it as far into the fuselage so that it is as snug to the walls as possible, but it's also going to keep it in line left to right, up and down, so that the, um, the angle of the motor is correct. So I'm going to start mixing up some JB Weld and getting this going. The fuselage has been allowed to dry for uh, over 24 hours, so the firewall should be solid I put a piece of plastic bag there because I didn't want to have that piece of wood glued to the front let's have a look and that looks great I've got a little glue in one of the air holes so I'll do a little sanding a little filing but uh, looks perfect Let's see if I can get this get a better look in there so as you can see it's nice and even it's about a millimeter out from the front or back from the front excuse me so, one firewall successfully mounted. Now, you see this, there's a little bit of a split in the fiberglass seam here. Um, when I was uh, tightening the bolt down and, and pulling the firewall uh, forward, I may have just gone a little far. Maybe I should have tried sanding this down a little more. That could have just been a, you know, a weakness. Uh, but there's so much um, glue in here. I've, I've looked down inside and uh, this is solid. It's not going to continue to split. Um, I could uh, sand this down a little bit, put a little fiberglass patch on there and uh, repaint it if I wanted to. I don't think that's going to be a problem down the road. So, uh, like I said, there's so much um, of the uh, JB Weld in there on that surface because I'd uh, used uh, one of those kitchen skewers <clears throat> to uh, to reach down and make sure that uh, the firewall was well gusseted. Um, so, and also when I was sanding the inside here, I may have weakened that joint myself as well. So, just something to to watch out for, you know, in the future.